Lady Loves Diamonds, owned by the Mamadi Stables, driven by Eric Ledford. Number two, Pleasantville, owned by Let It Ride Stables, The King Stables, and Jay Graham Simmons with Richie Silverman. Number three, Auntie Faye, owned by Cardinal, Banani Stables, and Policino with Cat Manzi. Number four, Weeping Wannabe, Richard and Joanne Young co-owned, Mike Lachance, the driver. Number five, Lee and Linda DeVissers, Western Touch with John Campbell. Number six, Roses for Sammy, Ferrinde Racing Stables, Dave Miller, the driver. And number seven, Q&A, all by Higgins, DeRoss, Salerno, and Perkins, Stefan Bouchard is in the sulky. And they're off. Roses for Sammy gets the first call from the outside, but now it's Pleasantville who scoots out quickly to grab the front. Weeping Wannabe takes back between horses. Lady Loves Diamond slides up the rail. Auntie Faye is now racing in fourth. Weeping Wannabe trying to drop in behind her. Western Touch has come away second last, and Q&A at the back of the pack is the trailer as Pleasantville leads them toward the opening quarter. Roses for Sammy drives into an inviting gap there in second. Then it's Lady Loves Diamonds back third. The opening quarter up 27 and three. Auntie Faye is fourth. She's about six lengths from the lead. Then it's Weeping Wannabe, Western Touch, and Q&A rounds out the field. Their straight alignment as they head down the backstretch toward the half mile marker. Silverman rating Pleasantville along in the lead. A length and a half clear of Roses for Sammy is showing the whip there in the pocket. Lady Loves Diamond still sitting in third. Weeping Wannabe the first to move on the outside. Auntie Faye jammed into her inside. Western Touch picks up cover as they hit the half 56 seconds flat. And Q&A trails the field. Ledford has his hands full with a headstrong Lady Loves Diamonds. And he edges her to the outside from third for clear sailing as Pleasantville still in front three eighths out. Roses for Sammy sat in the pocket. She's going to need a bit of room there, it looks like, on the inside. Lady Loves Diamonds grinding closer first up. Weeping Wannabe following her cover. Western Touch third over. Auntie Faye is jammed in, and Q&A also trapped in last. Three quarters, 124 and three. Pleasantville has made all the pace so far, and she is the one to beat at the top of the stretch. Roses for Sammy sits tight in the pocket in second. Lady Loves Diamonds third. Auntie Faye trying to find a way through. It's Pleasantville. Roses for Sammy. Sammy now coming to her. Silverman switches to the left-handed whip with Pleasantville. Roses for Sammy coming on, though. Roses for Sammy in Pleasantville. These two roses for Sammy from Pleasantville. Auntie Faye third, 152-4. and four. It's Roses for Sammy. Cam's Card Shark Philly out of Roses for Emma by Albert Elbert. All by Ferrinde Racing Stables of Nutley, New Jersey. Trained by Bill Popfinger. Roses for Sammy, third win on the season. The time 152 and four. Career best effort for Roses for Sammy, who's now earned over 135,000 this year. Results official: the six Roses for Sammy pays 420, 280, 220. Finishing second, number two Pleasantville, 340, 260, and third, number three Anti Fay, paying 340. Six two exacta, 1420. Six two three try seventy seven dollars even pick three of three five six seventy six forty the eleventh race kicks off the late double there are no late double changes also exacta and trifecta fourteen minutes till post at ten forty seven.